Hey guys, this is Mo, KJ, and Slim. And this is the Rebel Review Crew, and we're excited to bring you a new section of the Rebel Review called the Nomad Stage. Disclaimer. This is a non-profit project for educational purposes. It's also intended partially as a critique of the films included. So don't sue us, okay? There's not even lawyers in Canada. We wouldn't know what to do. We do not own any of the video clips provided and have done our best to credit the studios and production companies that are presented. We promise to put them to better use than the studio did anyway. Thanks, guys. Enjoy. Hey, Acolytes. You probably know our voices from our many opinions on Hollywood films at rebelreviewcrew.com. We've hopefully entertained and informed you and maybe annoyed and aroused you. We're totally jazzed to bring you a new project a little bit closer to home. If you've ever seen the Canadian Heritage After School specials, you know which ones I'm talking about. Or you've seen the Explore Canada commercials, you know that Canada has a rich history and a dynamic landscape. It can serve as a gnarled background for a dusty classic like Unforgiven, or a place where a big time blockbuster can blow up like Christopher Nolan's new film Interstellar, or even stand in for a sleepy town like in Fargo. Mysterious Badlands provide an unearthly visage. Our majestic mountains are ideal for tales of survival and a good background for an Eastwood or Jackie Chan Western? Let's start right here in Cowtown itself, Calgary, Alberta, and our home base. Calgary's downtown core has been captured to stand in as cities such as Detroit, Denver, and Metropolis, the Christopher Reeve era. And our unique plus 15 system, the largest in North America, has been a character itself in the locally produced Gary Burns film, Way Downtown made easy since the downtown clump is all connected by walkways. Local filmmaking is great, but what about international productions? As a part of Canada's mosaic culture, Calgary welcomes filmmakers from all over. For example, Tom Bin, the romantic Bollywood film, was shot all over the city and surrounding area. Whether you are a foreign filmmaker looking for a friendly place to direct your first flick, or an established showrunner in your hometown and you could use a change in scenery, Calgary can provide you with a beautiful backdrop. From Calgary's distinctive skyline to the docks of Vancouver and every small town in between, Canada is a perfect place for Hollywood to set up shop and for movie nerds like us. Aficionados. Right. Aficionados, it'll be a pleasure to bring you small facts and talk to the people involved in the making of these movies and TV shows. So come visit us and instead of taking our resources, film them. The three of us would like to welcome you to The, the Nomad, Nomad Stage. Stage. Man, that went pretty well. Not too bad, actually. Yeah, that was fun. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't f*** that up. Me too. Man, I'm super jazzed to be doing this. I didn't know Calgary had so many places to film. Yeah, the city's also building the hub, so Hollywood can film in studio instead of piecing off back home. Cool. Did you know Exit Wounds was filmed right on this bridge? No. Did you watch that? No. Did you? No. I did. Exit Wounds was released in 2001 and starred Steven Seagal and DMX. The 101 minute hip hop music video had approximately 3 minutes and 41 seconds filmed in our own backyard. For the sake of our first Nomad stage, I made KJ and Slim watch the opening scene and proceeded to apologize profusely. The film mixed DMX's bark and Seagal's bite in a fast paced, predictable action film for those who are a fan of the ponytail and fringe jacket sporting Seagal series. Calgary closed one of the main crossings from the downtown core to the north quadrant twice in order to accommodate the Lord Stephen of the Crystal Caves. You'll notice Calgary's climate is so diverse that you can film in the winter. And on the same day, summer. Hey, did you know in the early 2000s the city of Calgary closed down the Center Street Bridge for renovations? Hollywood producers used this opportunity and Calgary stood in for Detroit. At that time, the bridge was 85 years old. In 2016, it'll celebrate its 100th birthday. Exit Wounds was directed by Andre Bartowiak who started out as a cinematographer working on such Academy Award nominated films like Terms of Endearment and Prizzy's Honor to action titles such as Speed and Lethal Weapon 4. His first directorial debut was 2000's Romeo Must Die, followed by Exit Wounds and a string of other hits like Doom and Street Fighter The Legend of Chun-Li. Looks like they're expecting us. We can look at the closed circuit security feed. The front door has a good shot. Jesus, Klein. So if you want, check out Exit Wounds and the cameo appearance of our own Calgary Tower, and then shut it off immediately after the smiley face helicopter explodes. The 
best part of the movie was that Tom Arnold was never on our bridge, so we literally didn't have to burn it. Okay, I'm sorry. The point is, Calgary is just one of the many places in Canada that Hollywood has visited, which means we will too. So take the trip with the Nomad Stage. <sighs> no more so. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs>